This is a video chart presentation on Stream Media Corp. On Stream is a NASDAQ capital market stock trading or ticker ONSM. This chart just caught my eye because even though it's been falling off recently from up here at a buck 40 all the way back down to a dollar, it's coming down on a pretty solid support level. So this chart's going to be one that's going to hit the watch list, see if it's going to try and pull back up off of that support, perhaps actually make a little bit of a higher low right through here. Now, I don't believe we're going to get a ton from these indicators because obviously this has had a pretty substantial fall over the last week or so. But leading into that, uptrend was happening. We'll be looking for the MACD to continue its upward trend. Same way with the PPO, almost identical positions, both dropping a little bit of a bearish cross at this point. I think we're going to see just an awful lot of that because of last week's performance. Markets in general, of course, have just been taking a beating. ADX in a pretty neutral position. All three components pretty close together. It is interesting to note this big separation. See how far the 7 is away from the 14 and 21. Typically, I look for that to start to pull back up. That's another thing in the very short term. I'll look for a little bit of possible price per share upward movement, try and pull this 7 back towards the 14 and 21. You see just on an overall level right through here, accumulation distribution is still trending upward. A couple little bit more volatile dips, but overall the trend is in the upward fashion. Of course, we'll be looking for that top to get taken out, continue the upward movement. Shaking money flow, primarily in the green. Buying pressure has been pretty strong with this stock. CCI getting a little bit ugly, got a pretty solid downtrend to it at this point, coming off that peak. But again, kind of to be expected, same way with the full still. Some negative pressure, negative momentum in the play. Tricks, which moves much more slowly, still riding on that upward movement that came right before the fall. Much like the MACD or PPO, just look for that upward trend to try and continue. RSI is showing a lot of loss of momentum. Still holding somewhere around 50 at this point, though. That's never a bad thing to see. I didn't feel that we were going to get a great deal from the indicators, as I kind of mentioned to start this out. Bottom line with this is really coming down to some support levels. Pretty strong right there through around 95 cents. You can see several dips below. We could put a bottom support down here around 91. See, that was actually a breakout point back about seven months ago. So I would definitely identify a bottom support down here at 90, 91 cents. A little bit higher around 95 cents. If it closes below 95 I'd start to be a little bit concerned. As long as it holds this general area of 90 to 95 cents, I think that's pretty solid support. Additionally, it does pick some more support up right in through here. It's kind of a general area. You get a little bit of choppiness above it, below it. But $1 typically acts as a pretty strong support and resistance level. And support kind of runs right through there as well, kind of right where that doji dropped yesterday. So if it can continue to hold through this area, it'd actually be a pretty good sign because in the overall here, it's actually making a higher low. And we'll look for another rotation, another possible upward movement. Dojis, of course, represent indecision. Stock had some up and down movement, closed right where it started the day. It's a relatively low volume play, 44,000 shares traded, which is still somewhat below average. So you pay attention to those volume bars, see if it start to pick up on some buying pressure. You got the 50 and 200 day moving averages tucked together, 200 basically trending sideways. Any sort of upward movement will turn this 50 day. And if it starts trending upward in the overall picture of this chart, it could take on a very bullish look. That 50 day can start rotating upward and break back through the 200. Further on down the road, but I'd look for for resistance in this. Right there around that $1.17 mark, I think, is going to be the first area. I'd call that secondary resistance, but it's still going to pick up some right there. Pretty nice move from where it is, considering it's closed at $1.05. Then I wouldn't look for resistance again, really, until it gets up near this buck forty area. It's really battled with it throughout 2011. One nice move above it. it came back, made a little bit of a lower high. That sort of thing. The buck forty area is going to be tough for it. Again, it's almost a 40% move from where it is, which is obviously substantial gains. I'm not looking for that tomorrow or anything like that, but these low volume plays, as they show, they can move pretty quickly. And because of these reasons, I'm going to throw this chart on the watch list and see how it performs in the coming days with regards to holding this support and perhaps challenging this resistance. As always, really my interpretation of the on-stream media chart. Thank you for watching and trade smart.